So welcome to the Favadol channel. If you've been here before, you know I've been working on a go-kart. So I want to, I'm pushing the go-kart off to the side for the moment, much to the chagrin of children and some subscribers. Um, but I, I wanted, I've been working on something bigger for the channel, something more important for the channel. Um, and, and really, it's, it's one of those uh, giving back YouTube things. So, um, and, and you'll see why. I, 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 when I'm ready to do the reveal, I'm, I'm getting pretty close, but so I wanted to do a little sneak peek, and, and this was kind of a cool little project to, to uh, sidestep onto the, the whole build. So, th just to give you an idea, so this, this is a robotic arm. Um, it's carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum. So you can never go wrong with carbon fiber and titanium. What I'm doing is I need to make some bands that go around this, this carbon fiber. Let me show you what, what I need. So this is one of the end fittings of the robotic arm. This is the shoulder joint um, of the arm. And what it is is it fits in here. I'm not using epoxy or carbon fiber. Everything's mechanical fasteners and slip fits. See that? Nice fit. So I didn't want to just screw this carbon fiber into here. Um, I wanted, and I didn't want to just use washers. So what I came up with is a band that'll wrap around here and it'll be right exactly size on size. This fitting is exactly the same OD as this tube. So what's going to happen is I'm going to wrap this around here and then I will drill holes in here. There'll be two rows of six. And once that's on here, I will just match drill. And once I get them all done and rolled, I'll, I'll make a pattern that I wrap around each one and, and center pop mark them and, and just drill them and then drill and tap into this aluminum. So what it does is that reinforces the end and also gives an aesthetic quite the aesthetic uh, uh, look to it and pretty cool. I mean, you can't beat carbon fiber or carbon fiber and, and titanium. You can see the, the contrast difference between the, the three materials. So, and then stainless steel 832 screws. Let's get to it and I'll walk you through each part. Okay, fab it all. Before I hot form these, so I'm going to hot form them around this mandrel that I've already made. This is a piece of two inch, two and a quarter stainless. I do not have a roll. This, so titanium is about, uh, it's about as strong as steel, a little bit more as far as tensile strength, but the yield strength is higher. What that means is it doesn't bend as res readily. It's a, it acts a lot more like stainless steel, uh, maybe like a higher chrome stainless steel. Um, so I have a set of rolls, but it just wouldn't do it. So I, I came up with the hot forming, uh, and it worked really well. This stuff forms very easily. Once you get it hot, it, it pulls right around. And then it's just a matter of I'll bring it around, meet the ends, weld it, and then, then take it off. To take this off, I'm going to use this puller. But in order to use the puller, I need to mill three slots in here so after it's all formed, because I want to use this shoulder to keep everything straight. Once it's formed, I can put this in here, grab the band, and pull it off. So I just, let's get over to the mill, and we'll mill this, uh, these slots out. And I'll mark them first, and we'll, we'll do that.
have it. You know, I was looking through YouTube videos of titanium rings, and uh, all they have is titanium finger rings. <laughs> so this will be a unique little video. So I just saw there. That's how it goes on to the end. That's how the end fitting works for the for the carbon fiber. This is the shoulder joint, as I mentioned. A um, lot of lot of little steps. But um, very strong, looks good. Um, that's that's the only sneak peek I'm going to give you of this robotic arm. But yeah, that those are the bands. I'll do some polishing after on final assembly. I might even uh, do some heat treating and do some color changes. I, I'm thinking of making them a little deeper gray. Or uh, I like the blue, but I think it's a little too contrast for what I'm doing. Well, thank you for joining me. Hit the like, subscribe, hit that little notification button so you can see when I post more videos. All right, so see you on the next video. Bye, the real. Hold on. Make that like. Oh, yes. Come on, you have to have a dream.